We're going to have a lot of dynamite here. We've got a lesson over the circulatory system. The student will interpret the functions of systems in organisms and in specific humans, including the circulatory and respiratory system. And then the student will compare the inner relationships uh, between the circulatory system uh, to each other and to the body as a whole. From the top of the head to the tip of the toe, oxygen and nutrients are what you need to grow. Let's start at the head and work our way through. Let's learn how the heart is working for you and the heart goes And the heart goes. Okay, we're going to welcome Dr. Carrasco. Professor, good seeing you. This uh, is going to be an interesting lecture. Uh, of course. Let me tell you what we got, just so they know. We have a little machine here. It's going to take your blood pressure. Uh -huh. A sphingomanometer. All right. And we're also going to take this here. And this will be monitored to your heart. I'll put one of them here. You have one on the right side and one on the left side of your sure. heart. Sure. It'll kind of tell us what your heartbeat looks like and how fast it's beating. Then the last thing we're going to put on you is a follow pulse oximeter. Now... The heart has four chambers, okay? The left side of the heart, as I was saying, is the oxygenated blood, which is red, and you can see that here. Okay, there's the left atrium, the left ventricle, and the aorta. And of course, the kidney is involved in the filtering of much of the waste from the blood. It's a critical, critical organ. And many of you know about people that are undergoing dial dialysis. The reason for that is that their kidneys are not functioning properly, and so the, the, uh, the dialysis machine has to function like a kidney to filter out all that waste.